Hello and welcome to another edition of Inside 50. I'm Troy Luff. And I'm Stephen Lord. Well, it's been a massive week in the AFL, Luffy. Let's start with Frio, who have had an on-field and off-field exodus. The CEO, the football manager, not to mention the players who have left. Yes, five of their true champions are retiring after this weekend. Sean McManus, Matthew Carr, Mark Johnson, Peter Bell, Heath Black, all leaving. That's 1,075 games experience, Steve-O, leaving the club. That's a huge loss, and I think uh, they're going to struggle this week against the Pies. Their form hasn't been great. Medhurst should be fired up, up against his old club and Pavlich, who uh, is now injured now for the year. Well, I'm going to disagree with you, Steve-O. I think with those players retiring, that will inspire them to a big win at home for the last game of the season. Off the field at Fremantle, Robert Shaw, the football manager, has left going back to Melbourne for family reasons. And Cameron Schwab, the CEO, he's also heading back to the Demons to take up a new role there. Three-year deal for Cameron Schwab, very experienced operator, and I think he'll be able to lead the Demons up the ladder over the next few years. They've been fairly ruthless this week as well, dumping Adam Uze and Jeff White, two of their superstars of the last decade. Yes, you've got to feel a little bit for the two players. Jeff White, he's played 235 games, Uze 271, including 226 consecutively. As well as this week, he becomes a life member of the AFL. Maybe it might help them win against Richmond, steve -O. Yeah, unfortunately I can't see that happening, Luffy. I think the Tigers are going to be way too strong. What do you think? Well, they haven't got a lot to play for either clubs, but two of the champion players retiring. I reckon Melbourne might get over the line this week. There's also been a few retirements this week, and we'll start at Essendon, where Adam Ramanaskis, Jason Johnson and Mel Michael have all decided to hang up the boots. Matthew Knights has also said he wants to start a youth policy. Damien Peverell, he's the first one to be cut. Yes, Ramanaskis, only 27 years of age, 133 games, but what a courageous player, twice coming back from cancer. And in his best, a super footballer. Oh, and a premiership player, an inspiration to anyone. Jason Johnson, he played 184 games, Steve-O. Twice he was best and fairest, and he was also All-Australian. But he knew the writing was on the wall when Matthew Knight said, your time at Windy Hill here is over. Yeah, they're super players, and I think it may inspire them to an upset win against the Saints this week. What do you reckon, Luffy? Oh, look, I agree with you, Steve-O. I really do hope they win for those players retiring. Another player who announced his retirement this week was Shannon Grant. He also plays his 300th game for the Kangaroos. He's going to give it away at the end of the season, hopefully a premiership for him. Yeah, that would be a fantastic way to finish off his uh, career, and uh, I think they're a fair chance. It's round 22, the last round of the AFL season, and the final eight is already decided. The Swans, they limped into the top eight, winning only six of their past eight games. Yeah, and their two wins have been by less than a goal, Luffy. But their defence is really shaky at the moment. They're starting to leak goals, which is really, really unusual for a Swans team. It is. They were the second best defence for most of the year. But Paul Roos has come out and conceded that maybe the dynasty is over. They've played in six consecutive final series underneath Paul Roos, but their list is ageing. They have nine players, Steve-O, who will be turning 30 or more next year. Big game though this week versus Brisbane. If they are any chance to move up the ladder, they must win. And you think they'd need to have some form going into the final. So critical game. And uh, obviously O'Loughlin coming back in. Look, he's had a hamstring strain, missed quite a few weeks, but they've also said they're going to rest some players. You'd think they'd play everyone. Such a big game. It's great to see the continued expansion of the AFL overseas with a 16-team International Cup starting this week. What are you looking forward to seeing, Luffy? Yes, Steve-O, this is the third International Cup. We've got teams from all over the world. We've got Denmark, Japan, the USA. But what about this one, Steve-O? The peace team. The players come from Palestine and Israel. Great concept and great to see it in the competition. They had incredible hardship just to get to training, travelling over three hours, really dedicated. But the favourites this year, New Zealand, Great Britain and Ireland. Well, New Zealand are the defending champs. They've beaten Papua New Guinea the last two grand finals. Maybe it's Papua New Guinea's chance this year. But what about the USA? They started their pre-selection trials way back in January 2006. They started with 90 players from 48 different states to eventually they had some trial games at Fort Lauderdale where the list was finally cut to 40. Is this a start of an international side in the AFL? What do you think, Luffy? Well, Steve-O, the AFL are very ambitious to expand the game. They have talked about the team at Western Sydney being made up of Irish players, but what about a World Series of AFL? I would love to see that. Don't forget to join us next week on Inside 50 when we preview all the finals matches. Including our expert tips. See you next week.